Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I went to my favorite meat market. Just got back, and I got me some turkey wings. I had them cut them for me and all chopped up there for me. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna uh, step off here. I'm gonna wash these off and I'm gonna sear them off and I'm gonna put them in my all famous easy instant pot. I'm gonna do it the easy way, y'all. Put an instant pot about an hour, let them smuggle off in there for an hour. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. You like to do rice, but I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and uh, it's gonna be good eating for me. I ain't doing no vegetables or nothing. Don't judge me. It's gonna be meat and potatoes for me tonight. So. Anyway, y'all, let me step out and get these washed up. We'll be back. I'm going to season them up. Y'all know my seasoning. Salt and pepper, a little cabinet, a little shake, and that's it. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, time to get these seared off. Now, I can sear them off in my instant pot if I wanted to, but to do it the easy way and the quickest way to get a bigger surface, I'm going to do them in my... Uh, in the skillet over here. All I'm gonna do is just gonna sear it on both sides, y'all. That's all I want to do. I'm gonna sear them on both sides here. Put up in here. All right. Just gonna sear them off in there, y'all. Hoping my oil was hot then. If it didn't go off, it's still on. It'll come up the temperature, y'all. So put that in there. I'm just like I said, I just want to, you know, kind of just brown it on both sides. And then when I brown on both sides, I'll take them out, put them right in the instant pot. And after that, I'm going to throw my onions in there. I got some celery. Y'all know I don't use celery too much. I just had a little celery left over from another video. So I said, why not? Just uh, utilize that celery, don't use it up. And that's what I'm doing. So anyway, I'm gonna step off here, let this get brown here, and I'll be back when I start turning it over. And we'll go from there, old school smothered turkey wings, y'all. Can't go wrong with turkey wings. That's my favorite part of turkey. Turkey wings, turkey butts. Hey, I can eat that all day long. The turkey, uh, I just don't, not a big fan of turkey legs or turkey breast. And turkey legs, now I'll eat them if maybe you smother them, but them turkey legs you get like at the fair, the rodeo, things like that, walking around, people walking around eating the big old turkey legs, uh-uh. I, I didn't have no desire to eat those things. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. All right, got that nice golden brown on them, y'all. All I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to put them right over here. plate first, I don't drip oil everywhere. And I'm gonna just throw them right here in the instant pot. That's the best way to eat chicken wings, chicken wings. Turkey wings, chop them. Cut them up like that, nice little pieces. And they cook so much quicker, much easier. Okay, now, we got the second batch to go in here. Bag just situated. There we go. Get y'all a little bit more if I got one more piece in here Let's try to get them all in here y'all get them all in there there we go there we go okay y'all we're gonna sear them all get them seared off I'll be back we'll get them out of there and we'll Put our onions and celery in there. 
A little dirty flour, dirty, tell them dirty flour later, get ready, cause she about to get mad at me. But we're gonna use a little dirty flour today, y'all. Tell her to get ready. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. We got a nice, that nice color on there. That's what you want, y'all. We're gonna put this on the plate, and we're gonna throw these right into the instant pot. Get them all uh, off of here, y'all. Okay, now, now we're gonna put our onions and celery in here. Gonna sweat these down a little. Sweat them down a little here. Get all that nice flavor out of there. And after they sweat down a little, we're gonna add a little flour to this. Let me get these tails in my instant pot here while y'all watching that. You'll see y'all, it's the easiest way to make some turkey wings, y'all. Get them, cut them up. You know, they can't go in the instant pot unless you cut them. And have your nice butcher there cut them for you. Like the farmer's market, farmer's fresh meat. Yeah, cut the meat however you want them to cut. And he say, he called this a cowboy cut. So I never heard of that, he knew what I, I mean. He knew what I wanted. I guess that's the normal cut when people get when they go in there. I guess when you cut them in three pieces, all the uh, all pieces you cut them in three. You call that the cowboy cut. I learned something new today. So now we're gonna add the dirty flour here. I told the dirty flour lady to get ready. Oh, she's still around. Okay, we're gonna put a little flour in here. It's gonna be this. What's gonna make the the gravy, y'all. What I mean dirty flour, y'all new to the channel. I'm using the same flour that I breaded to use to bread the turkey tails with. And some people say that's dirty flour. We shouldn't be using that flour after it's been in the turkey. We should use new flour. So that's the ongoing joke here about the dirty flour lady. Told me that a few about two or three years ago. Okay, we're gonna move this around in here. We don't just want to cook this flour taste out of here. And then we're gonna add some water in this, and then I'm gonna add some uh some fish fish. Oh my god, that would be that would be interesting, huh? Not fish, but uh chicken base. Chicken base in here. Then we'll, uh, yeah, let me get situated here. Let me get situated here. Okay. Okay. That little brown off there, get that flour taste out of there. Now we're gonna add some water to this. Little chicken base. Try to mix that up a little in there, y'all. I add my Worcestershire sauce in here. This is what we're gonna pour on top of the turkey. And that's fine. Let me get my Worcestershire sauce. Let me get my Worcestershire sauce here. Okay. Pull that in there. There we go. You know, I love my Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Wish that up there. We're gonna put a little black pepper in here. A little, a little black pepper. Now I'm not gonna add any more salt and pepper in here. I mean salt and white pepper. I'm gonna put a little black pepper in here because I got the base. The uh, chicken base has salt. Then I season the tails already really really good. So I don't need any more salt in here. I don't want to over season it. 
So see that nice little gravy there? It's gonna make it this cook. So we're gonna move y'all over here. Turn that off. Okay, we got our turkey in there, see that? This ain't y'all first rodeo here. Y'all already know what we got here. I already know. Now I'm gonna put a little more water in there, y'all. A little bit more water in here. Okay, here. Yeah. A little bit more. It's gonna make a little bit more gravy. And that'll do it for this. There we go. Okay. We're gonna let it do its thing here, y'all. A little bit more. I like to put a little just till it, till it covers it. There we go. That's all we're gonna need. Okay, let me get everything hooked up here. We're gonna go one hour on these things. You know, in the oven, it takes two or two and a half, three hours on that. But you know, on this little awesome piece of machinery, as you know already. Don't take all that. Be in the kitchen all day messing with no turkey wings. Put this on here. We're gonna make sure it's sealed. We're gonna do it on meat setting. It's already on 60. That's it. We're gonna let it go and I'm gonna let it slow release on its own, y'all. That's all it takes. We done got so much easier now to make smother turkey wing. Then you had to do it in the pot and you had to check the water content. Hope it don't burn. Not no more. All the technology, take advantage of it. All of it's not bad. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And you know I did a little slow release for like 25 minutes. It's already, the steam has already come out of it. So we can open it up and we're going to see what we got here, y'all. We're going to see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that, y'all. Look at this, look at that. Like gravy, look at gravy it made. That nice gravy it made in there. Oh my God. Hold on y'all just a second. Put that over there in the water out the way. We're gonna get our ladle here. I'm gonna show y'all, look at that nice, nice gravy. I don't like it too thick, or you know as the gravy sets up, it's definitely gonna get thick. I'm gonna get my tongs here. The real test here. See how it's just falling, look at that, just falling off the bone, see that? Look at that bone. Look at that bone there, y'all. That's some turkey, turkey wings there, y'all. That's how it's supposed to be. Turkey wings right there. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, step off here, and I'm gonna take this out of here. You know, I'm gonna do my world famous YouTube thumbnail. I got me some mashed potatoes with this tonight, y'all. Some mashed potatoes instead of rice. So anyway, I'm gonna step off, do that world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna come back. We're gonna sample these old school smothered turkey wings in the instant pot. Took only an hour. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Got my weapons of choice here. Got my hot sauce. Let me show you here. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff cooking today, y'all. Let me go over here and show y'all. Y'all know the turkey wings right there. Got my turkey wings right here. I put them in the. I'll take some out of the instant pot, y'all. Look at that good gravy. Got all that good gravy in there, y'all. I'm telling you. Then over here, let me move this out the way. Got me some, you know, my pinto beans there in the back. A pot of pinto beans. Got them to eat with that. Got that back there. It got a full soul food meal. And what I do, y'all, I definitely, you know, I put it in the freezer. Got me pork chops there. The, the, uh, I had some pork chops left over for that video. So I got, I, what I did, I, I stuffed these and I smothered these. But then the old school mashed potatoes back there in the back. And then I got me a, one on made me a lemon pound cake right here. So, see that lemon pound cake right there? So I went and made a lemon pound cake. And this is only a Tuesday, y'all. I'm telling you, I love to cook. I got to get this done. And I got to get back to Dallas. What I do, y'all, I'll take this. Because I told you, I cook a lot of food at one time. And then I'll uh, put it in my food chamber. And I freeze it individually. And then, like I say, when I need it, I'll give it to others. It's already uh, in the freezer. I just put it out. 
and I'll label and put it out, and that's how you do it. That's why I tell people, if you're going to cook, you got your gas stove, got your electricity going, why not do a whole batch, put in your little saver, and you can pull it in, like, especially people that live by themselves, and they cook one little portion at a time. Well, cook a big batch, and then freeze it in a little individual. Like I tell you, use your food saver, put in a little individual serving, and when you want a meal, you don't have to go to the stove, heat your stove up. You can just pull it out as you need it. And I do that all the time. So let me put a little hot sauce on my turkey wings here. Okay. Get a little mashed potatoes here. I can tell y'all, you know this is spotting off the bone just tender, y'all. Look at that. Look at this here, y'all. I love the skin of the turkey. Oh my God. Trying to get a good sufficient bite here for y'all. So y'all can see, wrap that around in there. Oh yeah, that's a good bite there. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Take a bite. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. Mm. It's so flavorful. As y'all saw, I did, I seasoned the turkey and put a little uh, chicken base in there. We didn't need no additional. Seasoning. That was just enough seasoning for it. A little bite, huh? Look at that. Mmm. A little bite. Mmm. Mm, mm. mm. Amazing. Y'all know I'm not a turkey fan, but give me some turkey wings or turkey tails. It's on and popping. I'll eat that up. Call me weird. That's just the way I am. I love it. So, a little advice there for y'all that's cooking, especially single people like me. Cooking big batches one time. Of course, I give 75% of the stuff I cook, I give it away. You know, like I told y'all, food, having where my next meal coming from and food, that's the least of my words every day. And some people it is. So I try to help those that I can with the gift that I have in food. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.